On Saturday, November 2nd, starting at noon, Kevin Williams is helping sick kids by playing video games. He needs your help to raise $1,000 for the Chio Foundation. Donate at extra-life.org slash participants slash 347-875. Hey guys, I'm Jen. I'm a gamer, a photographer, and a longtime wrestling fan. Wrestling, especially women's wrestling, has truly evolved over time, and it's bigger than ever. I'm here to give my take on the world of wrestling, be it women, men, or whatever else is on my mind. Because if women in wrestling are being heard more, shouldn't women in wrestling podcasts be too? Welcome to Women Crush Wrestling! What's up, everybody? It's me, Just Jenny, here with my boy, Adam. Salutations. Okay. What's wrong with salutations? I don't know. It's the way you, like, slowly pronounced it. Do you have a problem, like, just with any words being pronounced slowly? Yes. So if I was to say, like... Subway station. I don't like that. You don't, the, but if I say subway station, yep. you're cool with it. I'm a very impatient person. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense because a lot of times you rush things I on do. the show. Like in terms of what we're talking about and also just words in general. Yep. You, you flash through them. I'm a very anxious person. Like you did pull out a Sonic the Hedgehog reference last week yep. with the uh, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Yep. yep. <laughs> I used to love playing Sonic. Probably because you got to go fast. Very much so. And I would cheat. Cause I, <laughs> the original one, when you hit a bunch of buttons, you can cheat and pick what levels you want to do. And, and you were just like, get me right to the end of the boss. I just no, don't care. No, I just, anything underwater. I don't want to earn anything. I just want to get through it quickly. I can't play underwater games. It gives me anxiety. Wait, there's an underwater? See, I didn't, I wasn't a Sega Genesis kid. I was a Super Nintendo kid. So. I was underwater. A- anything out there had underwater. Mario can play that one. I was about to say, so did that give you anxiety? Yeah. Where, like you're playing Mario? Especially and like, like the da 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 when you're going to run out of like, <laughs> air, like air. I should, uh, as a social experiment, I should make you play the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES game. There's an underwater level where you have to defuse bombs. Nope. <laughs> I won't play it. I won't play it. You, I won't do it. Did you know that this week is E3? Uh, I didn't know that. Starting Sunday. Are you excited? Very sun. Very, what are you? Very sun. Very sun. Very sun. Very sun. Very sun. Japanese for very excited. <laughs> It is not. It very, is not. Very sun. <laughs> very sun. Very sun. <laughs> oh uh, my god, that's a, but, but sun <laughs> is is a sign of respect. That's that's very much respect. Very respect. <laughs> very respect. Very respect to E3. <laughs> to E3. Very sun. Very yes. <laughs> oh man. I highly apologize to any of our Japanese <laughs> listeners out there. Same. I am so sorry. Uh we're not mocking you, we're mocking Jen. Yes, and but that is fine. That's a big difference. That is fine. Right. And yeah. by proxy, her unborn child. We're also mocking them by proxy. Who was very lazy today in an ultrasound. Tell us about that. Um, so they're doing like a test and I guess they need to see the whole spine to make sure there's no fluid. Okay. Um, and the baby was just chilling, hunched over, upside down. And <laughs> the tech tried to do everything like jiggle my belly. I had to go on my side, on my back, on my side. Did some breakdance moves. No, felt like it. <laughs> And it hurt because I had a full bladder because you have to go in there after drinking right. a liter of water and then they jab your stomach. 40 minutes later. <laughs> wait, wait, later, like with a needle? No, with the ultrasound. They like push harder to make sure if they can see. Oh, so it's less of a stabbing and more of a poking. It hurts. <laughs> Do not. It hurts. <laughs> I'm not I'm not saying it didn't hurt. I'm just saying that it, they're not stabbing you. No, they're not they're stabbing. You. Yeah. But, you know, it's just, that's my baby's going to be stubborn and yay. You should have played some uh, some wrestling for it. I bet it would have woke up. Maybe. It's because I don't, I, as I have a slushy next to me now, but I try really hard not to eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you're doing podcasts? Only when I'm doing, because I fell asleep on the couch before I got here. <laughs> and Colin was like, you know, you have a podcast? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Literally drool. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Oh, that's what the way uh, you're all sh- your face is all shiny. When Very you much so. That it. and sweat because I sweat so much now. <laughs> um, do you feel your baby move yet? No. Okay, so no. The, I feel the... gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel the baby. Have move. you been extra farty during wrestling events? Is what I'm asking. It might be. Okay, well then that may be the baby telling you that they're a wrestling fan. That's true. Which would be pretty cool. <laughs> it's true. I might let loose maybe a five minute gas break. Five minutes. <laughs> it seems so long sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> do you time it? Sometimes. Is it like a ridiculously comical one? Like on a (laughs) With a little... Yeah, like... like It ends like that. Like a... Sometimes. And that for five minutes. Sometimes. (laughs) My dogs get up and move. (laughs) 
They're like, listen, you can't even think about blaming this one on yeah, us, lady. They're like, oh, no, no, that no. That is not happening. We will watch you poop, but I am not sitting next to you when you do this. <laughs> listen, okay, if you're going to do something like that, you got to have something happen, okay? You yeah. can't just tease us with the smell of, a, of of poop. You actually have to make it happen, lady. Yep. I don't know why they like watching me poop, but they do. <laughs> Animals do that. They're it's just, weird. It's, they're just into that sort of thing. Yeah, and they just watch you. <laughs> like, you think Batista's into that sort of thing? Probably. He's an animal. Probably. That's his nickname. But I'm pretty sure Batista's watching me poop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'll be like, ah, you're David. <laughs> then he'll hiss and like. Run. It's because Jeff Jarrett gave you gave him your address, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now he just and if out. my husband's not home, I leave the bathroom door open. Now, when you catch him, does he do the whole like machine gun? Machine oh yeah, gun? <laughs> <laughs> he just said, as he backs out and goes out the hall. <laughs> hey, speaking of poop, I'm gonna actually kind of segue into something that uh, we were gonna talk about a little bit later, but I didn't write it down in the notes, so we're just gonna jump into it right now. More news coming out of Smash and the Summit, and holy crap, <laughs> literally, uh, both Priscilla Kelly, the Queen of Queens. And our girl Shotzi Blackheart have been announced for the shows. How amazing is that? Are they going to fight each other? Oh, I hope so. I want it to be who can gross out the other person. Okay, so fun little sidebar here. Um, when I was a teenage boy, and I'm sorry I said that broken that, up and yep. slowly. I My brain meant... just had an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Are you, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I just like flopped. Um, when I backyard wrestled way back in the day when I was a youngster, we had a championship called the Joey Lawrence Championship. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and it was a, a it was just a comedy thing where it was supposed to be like the hardcore title, uh, except it was defended 48 hours a day, 14 days a week, which meant you pulled double duty when you, you defended it. And you could win by pinfall, submission, or making your opponent do a bodily function. So you, we would always do stuff where we'd have wrestlers, like we had a wrestle to you puke match or, you know, guys would come up and push on your stomach and be like, crap your pants, except we wouldn't use the word crap because uh, we were young and dumb and stupid. But um, anyway, that is totally what I'm thinking about right at this moment. That's this what they're going to have a Joey Lawrence. A Joey Lawrence match. They a might. Joey match. They might. Whoa. Can you imagine if he's guest referee? Don't even, like, tease me like that. I don't think he Right would. now, you are letting out a long, whiny five-minute fart, and I am your dogs. <laughs> you have to travel with me next weekend. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, man. I am really putting my own health in my hands with this, but yeah. uh, thankfully the windows, the power windows do work in my vehicle, Thank so goodness. it won't be a problem, really. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that is super exciting. I'm so excited for the summit. I'm really hoping that... Uh, I don't know, like, should we just get... Should we get Shotzi in the ultimate act of irony to sign... A picture of of my bowel movement as a as a like a weird reversal. You should do it if you can get your poop to look like an S. Oh. because <laughs> it's like a tribute. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> a tribute to you. This is just a tribute, yeah. uh, a very weird tribute. But you know, yeah, you know. we're kind of weird over here at Women Crush. Wrestling. Very weird. <laughs> so it works out okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in between long bouts bouts of farting, uh, you went to the movies as well. Yes. You saw Godzilla. Yes. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't seen it yet. What'd you think of it? I thought it was too long to be a Godzilla movie. Okay. Explain. What do you mean? Two hours and something. It's a long time. For a Godzilla movie. How long should a Godzilla movie be? An hour and 40 minutes tops. Tops. Yeah. Okay. All right. But my husband really liked this movie and he loves all of the Godzilla movies. I was really disappointed there was no P. Diddy and Jimmy Page song. That's right. I saw that. You would put that out on social media that uh, if, if it's if it's there's no P. Diddy and Jimmy Page, is it really a Godzilla movie? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's so, the one I grew up on. So 2014, not a Godzilla movie. Well, it didn't have that. It wasn't that. I don't know. Like that other Godzilla. Had, From 1998. Yes. Had like Jamiroquai and had like. Jirakamaquai. Yeah. Right. Had like so many good people on that soundtrack it was an excellent soundtrack i did own that soundtrack that's all i remember is the sound it had the wallflowers on it it did heroes and you know what's funny is that um when me and my brother would fake wrestle and i would come in as the undertaker it was just my grim reaper costume i would come into that um please tell me the footage of that exists somewhere no because cameras ah. didn't cameras didn't exist back then not in our household <laughs> um I, cameras weren't a thing adam sorry. i would come into the jameer Koei song because it's had that really like dark opening yeah you know it was like so you had going to, slowly yeah. you had to time your entrance yep. because if you stayed out there too long then all of a sudden a break a dance break would kind of start it, it got a little bit too 
uppity to be a, yeah so but my hallway was short if i'm not mistaken was it it was it the one that went i don't I even think, know if that's the case now no, i think i'm just, just going into a beavis no. and butthead joke sorry it just had like this weird like it was like it was like this not, was not like that but it was like this like slow open yeah yeah I might try to find a copy of that song and put it at the end of this Do it. Ep- episode. Or like instead Godzilla's of a, little instead of, our, <laughs> <laughs> instead of our usual en- extra, yeah. I might throw that Jiraka McCoy song on there. There you go. Uh, so that was what you were up to this week. I have been writing exams and studying my tukas off, trying to get this new career going where I can financially advise people. So I have just had complete exam brain the entire week. I haven't had a chance to watch as much wrestling as I normally do, which is kind of like going through withdrawal for a heroin addict. Oh, wow. I mean, for me. That's dark. I know, right? <laughs> we, we told you we're going to dark places on this show. But thankfully, it is, uh, as of this recording, it's my birthday, and we were able to take a break. We wrote all of our exams yesterday. We drove from here to Timmins. Ugh. Well, <laughs> not 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 Timmins, just the drive. I hate I want, that drive. <laughs> I want you to apologize to Rob. Right no, now. Rob. Oh, no, I don't. I like Timmins. My brother used to live in Cochrane. We used to. It's the highway. I that highway is the highway of death. It is a <laughs> long stretch of highway. I, that highway gives me oh, especially at Christmas time. It's a long drive. It was not. I, I would not want to drive those roads in the winter. But and I you probably always will get have to. you always get speeding tickets on Kirkland Lake. Really? Always. My dad got one there. Um few people i know from work got some there so tips of the day make sure that if you're traveling to timmins you have a very good travel partner and uh, watch out for the hard-ass cops in kirkland lake apparently yep Yep. kirkland lake known for gold and hard-ass cops yep apparently (laughs) apparently um i'm also going to add that to the title of this week's episode hard-ass kirkland lake cops (laughs) that makes sense to me but Uh, i want it like I, I don't hate Timmins. I want to just make sure everyone understands. So let's see. We've offended Japanese listeners. But I really didn't mean it was the highway. And Timmins listeners. <laughs> no, it was the highway. And any police officers who may be from Kirkland Lake listening to this. Right? Although we didn't I really didn't insult say, them. They we do just said they were job. hard. We're saying they're hard asses. Yeah. Which is fine. You know, it was just we were going to Christmas and my niece was like two or one and four. And the <laughs> Wait, cop pulls wh- us over. Hold on. What age was she? Because. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Mika was one, Nan was turning five. Five, five. So you had multiple nieces in the car. Yeah, I, have two, I only have two nieces. Okay, cause, because... No, not in the car. Like They were in Cochrane. That's why we would drive up there. Oh, I see. But yeah. even still, when you're using plural, you said you should plural. Nieces. Nieces, not... <laughs> Mices. <laughs> no, it doesn't work Noose? that way. No, wait, that's a different Whoa. thing. Whoa. I just meant like moose, mises. Talk about me going dark. You went real dark right there. I don't know. Just mice, moose, mice. I don't know. <laughs> Not the same thing Not at all, but um, all. but I appreciate you letting us know that. Thank you. I blame it on the baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby brain. I've been blaming stuff on the exams and studying, so I'll, I'll give you a pass on that. But yeah. starting next week, no passes. Well, I get a pass for until December. <laughs> you're gonna use. You're gonna milk that. I'm gonna milk it. I do it now that, until that kid is milking you. <laughs> I eat two family sized bag of Doritos, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that really because you're extra hungry or just because you have the excuse ready now? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> not letting that go on record. Well, I want to go on record here as saying that uh, I'm very happy that we have a newsletter that you can check out at WrestleMedia.ca. It is your source for all the greatest and latest that's happening in the world of WrestleMedia each and every single week. And it's free, buddy. It's a nice little Clone High reference for any Clone High fans out there who may be listening <laughs> to us. <laughs> Uh, the news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking quotes now from Quote High. Like just the the narrator. Oh, <laughs> it's free, buddy. I always love that one. Or uh, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Doug. <laughs> if there's anybody out there named Doug listening, to and this. I'll kill your dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great stuff. Oh, <laughs> good stuff. So we have newsletters for guys like Doug and uh, people who are threatening to kill your dog or uh, nice people, too. And if you're any of those pe- people, we encourage you to sign up for free, buddy, over at WrestleMedia.ca. You're going to get all the, the biggest happenings in the week of WrestleMedia. And you might end up winning a contest like our buddy Michael Bensick. He's the winner of our newsletter contest 
For a pair of tickets to see Chinlock Wrestling in the House of Hardcore Chinlock 5 event, June 15th, that's right, next week, if you're listening to this uh, as part of Patreon, and this coming Saturday, if you're listening to the free public version, whatever version you're listening to, make sure that you check out Chinlock Wrestling, the Legend Convention, and the Chinlock House of Hardcore Chinlock 5 event. We're going to be there for both the Legend Convention and for the wrestling show. I'm so excited. I found out who we are sponsoring at the event. We're sponsoring a legend at this convention, and it's our good boy, <laughs> Tugboat. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? It was. Uh, Fred Ottman. Uh, I, I said Tugboat, but of course, you may be like, who's Tugboat? I don't know. Like, I didn't start watching wrestling until like 1992. Okay, cool. Typhoon, one half of the Natural Disasters, former WWF tag team champion. Or if you were like, I didn't watch WWF. I wasn't into that cartoony stuff. I was a WCW guy. Well, he's the Shockmaster, the dude that crashed through a wall wearing a spray-painted Stormtrooper helmet and created a legend so check it out check us out check him out at chinlock wrestling's legends convention june 15th we're going to be there with fred ottman uh or tuggy as andrew kent has called oh, him oh man on... i'm gonna call, i'm gonna make sure he lets me call him tuggy <laughs> you're gonna get him to sign something and i'm gonna tuggy? do it before andrew <laughs> <laughs> just to rub it in show him i'm show that yeah. in andrew kent yeah <laughs> That is freaking amazing. I teach love that. me to y- teach you to yell at me at grocery stores. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I was checking out one day with Colin, and then all I hear is, "Is that just Jenny?" And then he's like, oh, "I love your podcast." And Colin's like, "Who is this dude?" <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "I get random fans now." Yeah, I'm like, "Yeah, no, he's part of the network." <laughs> <laughs> You're all embarrassed about yeah, it. Yeah. I thought it was a real fan until I saw his face and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's how everyone reacts when they see Andrew Kent's face. Oh, man. Which means uh, he's not very intimidating if you go and buy a truck from him over at North Bay Mazda. Just a to truck? Give- they make, they make Mazda trucks? I don't know. I don't follow any of that stuff. I just know that Andrew is a salesman there now, yeah, and true. you should go buy a vehicle. A Mazda 3 from him. There you go. See, it's a car. You, you know the products. <laughs> car? It's a car. What are you, from Boston? Yeah, I am. <laughs> go get are you your... a cop? <laughs> <laughs> go get your car keys. Yeah. My, my pants or my car keys? Ooh, who knows? Who knows? Only a true Bostonian knows. That's true. Uh, one thing I know is, uh, man, I enjoyed TakeOver. I finally got a chance to watch it. Um, after I did my exams. Did you get a chance to see it at all? You missed it, eh? I was sleeping. I go to bed at nine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I am super tired all the time. What are you, like, 35? <laughs> I am going to be 14 weeks pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like being 35. But yes. <laughs> um, well, you missed a great show. I liked it a lot, especially the women's championship match between Io Shirai and Shayna Baszler. But anybody who's been following this podcast... Or just knows me personally, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody because every time that the women go out there, I feel like it's match of the night. It's been a very long time since I've watched a, t- a takeover event and not said, well, the women's match was the best match of the night. And honestly, I think a lot of that has to do with Shayna Baszler. And I want to quickly talk about Baszler because watching the match, I started thinking, you know, she might be the best. NXT women's champion in their history. And I really wanted to think about this because I know it's something that Jeff DeHan's probably not going to be talking about on forging the future. He'll be talking about everything else related to takeover, but I asked him and he said it was cool. We could chat about this a little bit. I just didn't want to steal his gimmick. Uh, So go check that out. Make sure that you're listening to forging the future um, because Jeff is going to run down the card. He's going to talk about it a little bit, what he thought of it. And it's going to be a great episode. The last couple episodes have been fantastic. Did you hear the latest one with our, patreon val no i haven't yet oh, she's so great I, i'm gonna try to tr- convince her to come on board and do something with us because she's awesome you know maybe it's time to get another female on women crush wrestling you know there that's you all go. i'm saying you know more women here would not necessarily be a bad thing more uh, hormones <laughs> that's what we, we need do it up <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need really that's what we need but if you think about it baszler has had a pretty impressive run as women's champion just thinking off the top of my head there's very few that come to mind that i think would be any better is there anybody that you can think of like immediately i know you're not a huge nxt person but like is there anyone that's like oh well yeah but when i say like shana Bizzler is the best nxt women's champion ever i 
I would only really think maybe of Asuka just because she was like undefeated. Like it's, she was like this monster. It's so hard for me to sit there and make that statement when it's like, yeah, but Asuka was undefeated. Like nobody beat her ever. Mm-mm. And if you look at in the official record books, she's got a 300. No, she's got a 510 day championship reign compared to Baszler, who's got a 354 and counting. I totally thought she had that for longer. Baszler? Yeah. To be fair, that's combined mm, yeah. because she also has a record of being the only two-time champion. Mm. She lost the belt for like, I think, a couple weeks to Kyrie Singh, yeah. but then she got it right back. It's tough because at the same time, you look at those, if you're going from a pure number standpoint, it's Asuka and there's no question about it. But here's the thing. I think Baszler has put on better matches overall than Asuka, which may be a controversial statement to some. But when I think back of all of like Oscar's best matches, there's only really like one or two that come to mind. That being her match with Bailey, her matches with Bailey, where she got the belt and retained them originally were good. I really like those matches. And I think of her stuff with Nikki cross. Mm-hmm. She had that big street fight with Nikki cross, which is mm-hmm. awesome. Don't get me wrong. Like I really, really liked it a lot, but I can't think of another match that stood out for me as being like, oh man, do you remember that fantastic match? Baszler, I can go down like the list of every woman she's faced at a takeover event, and it's been a match where it's stuck out, and it's it's re- like any th- time she stepped in the ring with Kyrie Sane, mm-hmm. take my money, I'm there. Those matches have been awesome. Her series with Ember Moon has been fantastic as well. All the stuff with Bianca Belair where she like made, like she has done everything that I think a champion and a representative should do. And this last match she had with Io Shirai may have been one of the best matches that I've seen from the two of them. I know that a lot of people were into the Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano matches for the last two takeovers. If they were good, I think they're a little overhyped to be honest with you. But again, that's Jeff's realm. I'm going to let him talk about that. But when it came to Io Shirai and Shayna Baszler, there was something really special about this one. And I got to be honest, I wasn't sure how to feel about it heading into it because Io Shirai to me has been this person who has been so hyped up in the WWE NXT system as like, oh, she's the genius of the sky. She's this incredible Japanese talent. And when I was watching her on the Mae Young Classic, I was like, she's good, but I don't see anything special about her. I don't I don't get what all the hype is. It's cool to see her and Kyrie Sane do stuff. Now that Kyrie's not there and they've let Io do a little bit more, I see it. Mm-hmm. I see what's special about this girl. And after watching the takeover match, I gotta tell you, I I got some high hopes for Io Shirai now. There is something about her that I don't think we have seen in some of the other female Japanese talent that WWE has brought over. I don't want to say it's realness, but that's the best word I can think of to describe it. Because when you look at someone like Asuka, there's definitely a mystique Mm -hmm. to her. But I also think that at a certain point, that kind of, you get tired of it. You need to know a little bit more about this person and obviously, I also feel like her booking hasn't helped that at all, at no. least recently. Kyrie Sane is amazing. Adorable. I, and adorable. Yeah. But that's kind of the point that I'm making is that she's a gimmick. Yeah. And she's a gimmick through and through, which isn't bad. Like, I like her and I, I like the, the, the pirate gimmick. I think that's great. Mm-hmm. Um, But it didn't make me cheer for her the way that I was cheering for Io Shirai when I watched TakeOver. And I think it's because EO feels n- like a real person and not so much a gimmick. Yeah. And first, and of course, she's an amazing wrestler. She proved that in spades, pun intended, uh, at TakeOver with Baszler. And she can really get, get you invested in her plight. And I think that is that thing, that intangible, that X factor is that she makes me want to cheer for her and she makes me disappointed when she does not win. And that's something I don't necessarily know that I have with Oscar or with Kyrie Sane. but 
if she can learn how to speak really good English, and I know that that might sound a little bit off-putting, but I'm just talking about in terms of the WWE world here, right? Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is they're an English-speaking company for the most part. So having the ability to speak English will help you in that company. If she can learn to cut her promos in English, like she, she does speak English, but it's, it's broken. I think she has the potential to be the most popular female Japanese superstar in WWE history. If not their most popular Japanese star ever, that includes the guys too. Mm. And I know that there are people out there who may hate that. I'm saying that and going, what about Shinsuke Nakamura? Nakamura is fantastic, and I'm not taking anything away from guys like Hideo Itami or or Ken, or uh, Funaki. Or Funaki, <laughs> you're right; he is pretty popular. I, I love think. him. Takamichinoku, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I just think there's something about her, man. There's something about Io. Should be a, like like there's something about Mary, but with uh, Io Shirai. But with Io Shirai, and, and it would less... be Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> Me, if I had my way, <laughs> she's great. I love her. She's absolutely fantastic. So I, I, I'm I'm curious about what our listeners think about mm -hmm. this. Do you think that Shayna Baszler should be considered the greatest NXT women's champion ever? Do you think that Io Shirai has the ability to become the biggest Japanese star in WWE? I want to know what you think. Let us know via our social media. We'll be putting that up later on today with that. Jen, I, I don't want to get personal here i know we've already gotten pretty personal but we always get personal how often do you and colin fight never really you guys don't ever argue about things not really no we get mad at each other maybe like once a year what is it over i don't even remember <laughs> it's like the stupidest things yeah and how do you guys how do you guys fight we sleep no i mean like how do we get over it we just don't talk we... oh you guys just give each other the silent treatment yeah like he'll go to his computer room i'll watch tv and, and then, then eventually we go to bed and then in the morning we're like, oh, okay. you'll just forget about it. Yeah. Cause it's never anything like that would change our relationship. Like we're, we're on the same level for a lot of stuff and I don't know. I've known him since I was like 15. So, right. So there's not a lot there for you guys to kind of, I've seen him over. at his worst. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like him when I first met him. <laughs> oh no. eh? No. Cause, uh, my best friend was dating his best friend. So we were forced to hang out. You were just like, I hate this. So it really was like something out of a Hollywood script. Where Pretty much. Like, this guy is terrible. I don't like him. And a year later. Yeah. And you guys are like together forever. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of sweet, actually. Yeah. Well, here's an interesting story that I think you'll be able to not relate to in any sort of nope. way. <laughs> um, so friend of the show, former guest, Caitlin Diamond is going to be wrestling at a matter of pride in Portland, Oregon this Sunday for any of you patrons who are hearing this now. And yesterday for anybody listening to the free version, but it's her opponent that makes this match completely interesting. Jocelyn spelled by the way, Jaws O Lynn Jaws on Lynn, uh, which I think is great. Jocelyn. And for anybody going like, yeah, so what? Well, that's her wife. <laughs> I would do this match. You would do if like, me and Colin were wrestlers. I yeah. would do it. No, I'm sure. Like, I mean, I'm sure there are couples out there that would be like, this would be kind of fun, yeah. but do yourself a favor. If you're not following Caitlin Diamond on Facebook and Twitter and social media yet, please do so because the back and forth social media promos that these two have been cutting on one another, freaking hilarious. But be careful. There is definitely some not safe for kids language out there. So uh, just cover your, your bump whenever you're My bump? It, it can't hear yet. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm it not sure have, if it has ears. It doesn't have ears, Adam. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Hey, this is a commercial for Patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA, where you can get early access to episodes of your favorite WrestleMedia shows, get full uncut and uncensored versions of your favorite shows, and more. Don't want to hear this commercial on your podcast anymore? Sign up at our main event tier and get these episodes ad-free. Want to hear your own commercial here instead of ours? We've got tiers for that, too. Visit Patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA and join the WrestleMedia revolution today. WrestleMedia.ca is your one stop for everything WrestleMedia, including our social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, so like and follow us there. 
We're going to ask you about who's the greatest women's NXT champion. Do you think Io Shirai has what it takes to be the most popular Japanese women's star? We may ask you a few other questions related back to this podcast, so feel free to get in on the conversation. And while you're at it, if you want to do a little something more for us, hit us up on Patreon, patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA, where you, for just a few ducats in the bucket each and every month, you can get stuff like early access to these episodes, more of the episode. We're going to be talking about more stuff here for our patrons, or even exclusive episodes that are only going to be for those patrons. But you only get to play if you get to pay. So... That was not as good as the Duckets in the Bucket line. But, no, that know. sounded very sexual. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> you only get to play <laughs> if you pay. That's my... That's that sounds the, like Vince McMahon talking to all the female talent. <laughs> see, that's what he says if you start criticizing the angles and you hear his music play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> comes up and taps down the shoulder. Uh, and he says, rate and review us. Because that's what we want you to do. Uh, rate and review us on iTunes or if you can do it on Spotify, SoundCloud, anywhere you listen to fine podcasts that allows you to give us a rating, give us the highest one possible. That's what we would love, but heck, we'll take great feedback no matter what it is. So if it's you know uh, constructive criticism, uh, we'll dig it. If you're just here to laugh at Jen about E3, well, then do that too. That's fine. We're okay with that as well. Good. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we wrap it up? No, I'm good. I'll take us home then, Jen. All right, well, I've been just Jenny. This has been my boy, Adam. Uh, Charles Dickens is underrated. There you go. Thought I'd end it with something positive. Yeah, we just crushed it. Yeah, we did. Woo. Oh, oh, wow. So that was what, what This is why what I happened. never. <laughs> we, you fist bumped in the head. <laughs> this is why I don't do those weird hand moves. <laughs> This has been a presentation of WrestleMedia, where everything is wrestling, and wrestling is everything. Here's what you're missing out on right now over at Patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA. I gotta ask you, though, speaking of Mickey James, have you seen her milf and cookies It posts? makes me uncomfortable. Does it? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't... It's gross. I don't like the word milf. It's kind of... Really? No, I don't like it. Why not? I don't know. It's gross. I mean, like... Is it because you yourself are about to become a MILF? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Want more? Sign up now at patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA.